Kiev versus Bivol. I'm here to let y'all know this fight is not going the distance. Somebody, oh, has got to go and somebody is getting knocked the hell out. The undisputed world light heavyweight championship match between Dimitri Bivol and Artur Betterbiv is a few days away. And just as boxing fans can't wait for the match itself, boxing professionals couldn't wait to reveal their picks ahead of the fight. Do you think he does? I think so. He has the ability to do it. You know, Peter Beer is a really strong fighter. So it's going to be hard, but he can. It's an all Russian matchup. And if you saw the epic fight promo video released by Turkey Alalshik, you'd understand the kind of intense action the two Russian warriors are preparing boxing fans for on the 12th of October. The fight got the best promotion video of the year. And you can be excited in advance as we finally have the fight of the year in our hands. Several boxing professionals, retired and active across various divisions, have not only made their picks for the fight but have also given their reasons too. Be a little bit of a mean stare, ah, this, this is special. This is what but before we begin, who do you think will win the fight and what are your reasons? You may drop your thoughts in the comments section. But which professional is supporting Better Biv and which is supporting Bival? Let's check them out and hear their reasons as well. He has a lot of power. Yeah. The thing about Bivol, he's more of a complete fighter. Right. He can hit you from here, he can move here. You know, you can't hit him. He's moving, you know, yeah. using the whole... The two pound-for-pound -pound stars bringing to the ring an intriguing clash of styles better Biv with the ferocious power that has seen him end every contest via knockout against Bivol's calculated and composed boxing, which, despite only one stoppage in his last 10 fights, gets the job done with relative ease every single time. After years of waiting for the clash, and both men dominating the division against all comers, as well as an initial postponement due to a training injury on Better Biv's part, the champions will finally meet on a Riyadh season show on October 12th in Saudi Arabia. And somebody is getting knocked the hell out. Having battled Bival in 2022, Canelo Alvarez, who has first-hand experience against him, shared his opinions on the forthcoming fight in a recent pound-for-pound -pound podcast appearance. In their battle, Bival outpointed Canelo over the distance, successfully defending his WBA world title and becoming only the second to defeat the Mexican star, following Floyd Mayweather. Alvarez gave his prediction when asked about the better Biv Bival battle set for October 12th. Teach. I think if Bival has the conditioning and a good game plan to go in there, move in and out, and do all these things, I think he wins. But if not, if he goes a little bit into the corner or on the ropes, it's going to be hard for him because Better Biv is a very hard fighter. Person that comes to mind. No. Bivol maybe just to get the rematch. Bivol maybe. Bivol, Bivol okay. is, is one of the guys uh, uh, have my my. In a more recent interview with Fight Hub TV, Canelo now believes it's a 50 to 50 contest and gives Better Biv every chance of getting his hand raised. No, I don't plan to travel to watch it. This is a 50 to 50 fight between two very accomplished fighters. Bival is going to have a very tough opponent in front of him. It's going to be a good fight. The discussion turned to Alvarez's potential comeback to the light heavyweight class, to which he said just one fight could inspire him to climb back up to 175 pounds. Yeah, it's possible. One day, the only fight I'd make one more time at 175 is the rematch with Bival. It's the only fight that will happen. Recently on his podcast, Former world champion Sean Porter offered his opinions on the approaching game. Porter showed faith in Bival's ability to beat Better Biv, predicting that the fight would not finish in the early rounds as past events have shown. Better Biv is going to take a lot of punches like he always does, and I don't think he can catch up to Dimitri Bival, stated Porter. Nope, he can't drag Bival into a fight. Too damn disciplined. Too much lateral movement. Too intuitive. Good boxer. Porter believes Bival's boxing skills will shine through. To, to, like I say, if he wins the 175 uh, on this. He points out that Better Biv often takes many punches and might struggle to keep up with Bival's movement and discipline. David Benavidez didn't hold back his opinions on the highly anticipated light heavyweight showdown between Artur Better Biv and Dimitri Bival. With Better Biv plagued by injuries from time to time, Benavidez had some sharp words for the reigning champion. Better Biv is getting older, and he works out hard. He does a lot of weights, so maybe that's what is slowing him down, Benavidez said. His chances of beating Bival are getting slimmer and slimmer. But at the end of the day, I don't want to speak on what those men can and can't do. Great boxer, 
and he has punching power. Speaking to Sean Ziddle, the recently crowned WBC interim light heavyweight champion and first in line for the winner, David Benavidez broke the fight down based on his experience sparring Bival and being in with former Better Biv opponent Oleksandr Gvozdik. It's Bival who has had only one stoppage in his last 10 fights. They're both extremely talented fighters. Two different types of fighters though. Bival is a boxer. He moves around a lot, but he's solid. Better Biv is a freaking train. He just comes at you, takes shots to give shots. So what I'm looking at for this fight is, does Bival have the power to hurt Better Biv? Because Better Biv has been hurt by Oleksandr Gvozdik. I've sparred both, and Bival cracks harder than Oleksandr. To, like I say, if he wins the 175 uh, on this. It's going to be a really interesting fight. I think if Bival stays on his feet the whole night, uses his jab, and when they exchange, he stands his ground. I think he has a really good chance of winning. But also, when Better Biv gets his engine going, that mother freaker's a train. He has, what, 19 fights, 19 knockouts. It's a great fight. World Boxing Council lightweight champion Shakur Stevenson may be sidelined with a hand injury, but that hasn't stopped him from getting hyped for one of the biggest showdowns in the boxing world. With his clash against Joe Cordina on hold after undergoing surgery, Stevenson has shifted his focus to the much-anticipated battle between Dmitry Bival and Artur Betterbiv, set to take place on October 12th in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. While Stevenson won't be lacing up the gloves that night, his excitement for the event is palpable. This isn't just any fight. It's an undisputed clash between two of the most dangerous men in the light heavyweight division. Betterbiv, holding the WBA, WBO, and IBF belts, is known for his brutal knockout power while WBA champion Bival is the epitome of technical precision. It's a classic power versus skill matchup, and Stevenson has weighed in on exactly how he sees this fight going down. What about better? Yeah, what about better? He's 40, I think. Okay, okay, okay. He's, okay. 40, hey, yeah. he's gonna win that fight. Easy. He might stop him. Yeah. Easy. Not only has the champ picked his favorite, but he's also shared a blueprint for how the fight could be won, adding his expert insight into what it will take to come out on top SO now the question lingers. Will Bival's technical mastery triumph, or will Better Biv's devastating power be too much to handle? Either way, boxing fans are in for a treat. According to Outlaw, the fight between Bival and Better Biv will be an even contest. The Texas resident can't pick an outright winner and stated that the result will depend on the tempo of the fight. Better Biv vs. Bival is a true 50-50 fight for me. Can Better Biv land flush shots on Bival? Or will Bival let Better Biv rest in there like a lot of his other opponents do because of the power? I'm making a bet. Easy, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think easy. I do have him beaten. Without, uh, Dimitri, uh, if you can't land, man, man that, dude is, that is a yeah. box. I think the fight will boil down to what pace the fight will be fought at, wrote an excited Stevenson, speaking to Boxing News. Stevenson was asked how he sees the fight going between Better Biv and Bival. Hell of a fight, hell of a fight. Like I said, me and Tank is the biggest from a popularity standpoint. We're a lot bigger than that fight. But from a skill point of view, that fight is up there too. In my opinion, Better Biv is the big puncher, the monster, the boogeyman. Then you got Bival, who is a hell of a boxer, controls the distance well, barely gets touched, got great feet. I think that fight is right up there skill-wise as one of the best fights. He was then asked for an outright prediction. I like Bival's footwork, his good conditioning, the good jab that he's got. I think he's going to control the distance. Better Biv got skills that people don't know too. With his feet, he's got a good jab too. Truthfully, it's going to be a hell of a fight, but I'm picking Bival to win. The headline fight between Bival and Better Biv will be a clash of styles. Um, he's a great boxer and he has punching power. And then Better Biv, I think... On one hand, very few people have been able to escape the power of Better Biv. His killer punches can knock the air out of anyone's lungs at any given point. But if anyone can match his power with speed, it is Bival. The Kyrgyzstan-born boxer will have to set the range of the fight to his comfort and must stay a step ahead of the Russian boxer. But with both boxers having quite a similar reach, that might be a problem. Even though Stevenson thinks the fight will be a close one, he has picked his winner for the match. According to the WBC lightweight champion, Bival can win the fight if he controls the tempo of the match. When a fan asked Stevenson about his pick, 
The boxer replied, I'm liking Bival bet. I think he has to push the pace early without wasting any time. He does a lot of weights and in boxing, when you do too much weights like that, that's when you start to break down more. So. This also means that Bival has to be on the move for all 12 rounds, as knocking down better Biv will be a near impossible task for him. Bival has won 12 out of his 23 wins via knockout, but 9 of his last 10 wins came Viaduct unanimous decision. On the other hand, Better Biv has proved himself to be quite the horror, winning 20 fights all Viaduct knockout. The heat is picking up in the light heavyweight division. Dimitri Bival and Artur Better Biv are all set to clash in a historic bout next month, and predictions for it have started pouring in. Joining the bandwagon is former light heavyweight champion Roy Jones Jr who has deflected from the consensus that it will be a level fight between the two undefeated power punchers. Bival will bring his International Boxing Organization and World Boxing Association belts against Better Biv's International Boxing Federation, World Boxing Council, and World Boxing Organization titles to determine the undisputed champion of the weight class last held by Roy Jones Jr. himself. Now, on the precipice of getting a successor for the status, he made a pick between Better Biv and Bival. The premise of his argument rests on the major beating one of them took in their career. Both Artur Betterbiv and Dmitry Bival come with illustrious, undefeated records. While Bival has 22 fights under his record, Betterbiv boasts 20. This levelness has prompted fans to presume it will be a fight that could go either way. Most pundits are finding it hard to split the two men but former four-weight world champion and the last man to be undisputed in the division, Roy Jones Jr., doesn't buy into that. He told Boxing Social. Basing his argument on this occurrence, the former champion also leveraged the time Bival defeated Canelo Alvarez in their 2022 fight, giving the Mexican fighter his career's second loss after Floyd Mayweather. Roy Jones Jr. then added, Bival has been in there with who, at that time, was pound for pound the best, Canelo Alvarez, and made him look like nothing. So I'm not saying it's 50-50. However, he does not completely rule out the chances of Better Biv winning on the night. He also notes that it will not be an easy task for Bival to cement his victory. Roy Jones Jr. cautioned, do not underestimate the power of the knockout machine, Better Biv. After all, his punches are the ones that induce fright in his weight class. He's incredible. He's like, what, he's like 40 or something, right? He's, yeah, I think he's about 38, 39. 38, 39, incredibly, and like, unbelievable. Speaking to Fight Hype, Jones said Bival should win the fight and discussed what his plan should be, patience. I think Bival has the better chances going in because he's more of a boxer who can also punch. But Better Biv is one of the best punchers we're probably ever going to see for his weight class, so he's always dangerous. But he's been down a few times too. If Bival can use his feet to avoid the power for the first three to four rounds, Bival should win the fight. But if he gets caught, you don't know, because I've never seen him get caught by a guy who punches with the velocity that Better Biv punches with. Many analysts and fans see the bout as a true pick, M, and one of the most competitive in the sport of boxing. ESPN analyst Tim Bradley, when asked to assess the better Biv Bival fight, answered, Bival all day. Um, I don't know how Bivol's going to be able to fight somebody like that. Bradley, a former junior welterweight and welterweight champion, gave better Biv only a puncher's chance against Bival in what would be a full title unification fight in the light heavyweight division. If better Biv Bival materializes, though, Bradley believes Bival will beat Better Biv convincingly. Bradley broke down the battle between the undefeated 175-pound champions from Russia during an episode of ESPN State of Boxing. He got hit flush with combinations, and Bival can do that all night. And when they do fight, or if they do fight, don't be surprised if you see Bival step to Better Biv. But, wow, like, it's an open workout I'm going to get behind. Like. Yeah. What do you see happening in that fight? Because we've seen Better Biv going there with a big guy like Callum Smith, nullifying complete. Because if Yard can step to Better Biv, there's no question Bival is going to step to Better Biv, and he's going to push him back. And he's also going to fight him off the back foot, no doubt about it. So, I'm telling you right now, Bival is going to be the undisputed champion this year. That was my big prediction for 2023, that Bival will capture all those titles, and he will dethrone that man. He got hit. Bradley said of Better Biv, did you see his face? 
I mean, he got hit with a lot of shots. Now, imagine Bival. How precise and accurate he is with his punches, how he maintains distance, how he has the high guard with the defense, and a quick step back. These two styles up. Terrific what I would say is from the outside looking in a 50-50 fight. Is that how you see? No. I mean, there's a lot to worry about with a fighter like Bival, man. I still want to see it. You know, I think that Better Biv has a puncher's chance, no doubt about it. It's not going to be easy. He's going to take a lot of leather before he lands that one shot, but Bival all day. However, he later admitted he had previously backed Bival to win, but now sees it as a closer contest that will require the best of the Russian. Right now, Bival has the, has the advantage 60 40. Now, Better Biv is a hell of a guy and a hell of a fighter and has an awesome power. But he also has been down. So it's like when I look at that, I always look at stuff from where I used to see things. I saw if somebody else knocked you down, I got to get you down. You understand me? Now, that's a hell of a push to walk through to get him down. Versus Bivol. I'm here to let y'all know this fight is not going the distance. Somebody, oh, has got to go and somebody is getting knocked the hell out. And somebody is getting knocked the hell out. Welcome everyone to Top Stories and Tim Bradley channeling his inner Smokey from... While George Groves has come down in support of Better Biff. I've always favored Bival, but Bival is going to have to fight a perfect fight to keep Better Biff off of him. As Better Biff's promoter, Hearn, says, the deal is already done for a potential fight and it's up to Better Biff's camp to finish the contract. Who would win between the two? Hearn is still riding with his fighter, but he doesn't seem as confident as he has in the past. I always back our guys. I truly believe Callum Smith would win tonight, and I truly believe that Bival would win, but seeing Better Biv up close, I think he's improved a lot. I know he's getting older, and you hope that he's slowing down, but he's not. Dimitri Bival has tremendous movement, but you've got to make a dent. It's very difficult to outbox Better Biv over 12 rounds. Better Biv's performance against Smith seems to have made a real impact on Hearn, who isn't usually impressed so lightly. Talk about it, it's a big fight. Unified light heavyweight championship of the world. Arthur Better Biv, undefeated, perfect 20 and 0, 20 by knockout. Generational greats, the best two light heavyweights in the world fighting for every single belt. I hope that casual fans around the world. Better Biv has been down. Yes, yes, yes. We've all never been down. Listen and understand the importance of this fight because this is a fight that for me can only be an all-time classic. Better Biv was a menace from the opening bell on Saturday night as he picked up his 20th knockout win in 20 fights. Bival and Better Biv aren't trash talkers and are generally reserved when it comes to pre-fight happenings, so the fight wouldn't be a mega draw. That said, both light heavyweights are at the top of their games and there might not be a better pure boxing matchup to be made at this current time.